What is going on, guys? Simpson here again. I uh, just want to say thank you all for the support. Really appreciate it. A lot of you have been asking me about how do I get the three monitors to act as one monitor. Um, and I've, I've answered a question in the comments, but I think uh, I've been wanting to do a video just to show you real quick on how to do uh, to combine the three monitors for your trucking or racing simulators. It's a very, very easy step. Um, you know, it shouldn't take you that long. And once you do it, you don't really have to touch it again and, and it's all good to go. So with that being said, I am using uh, an NVIDIA graphics card. I'm currently using the EVGA uh, 1080 Ti uh, Black Edition, I believe, is the one that I'm using. So and it's been running very good for me, you know, no problems at all in the racing or trucking simulator that I, in the games that I that I play with. So with that being said, you would need to download, obviously, you know, your NVIDIA control panel, which can be brought from the Microsoft Store. And then once you do that and you download all the drivers for NVIDIA, you guys should already know this. Make sure that your drivers are all, all up to date. Um, and then, you know, you go into the NVIDIA control panel, as we can see here. And what you're going to need to do, again, it shouldn't take you this long to get it all set up. I already have it set up. And I figured I'd just walk you guys through it real quick. So in order to get to this screen, what you need to do is you need to right click on your desktop and then go into the NVIDIA control panel. It's right there, NVIDIA control panel. Again, you can download this from the Microsoft um, App Store because that's where it is right now. Even if you go online, it will direct you to the Microsoft App Store. So right click on your desktop, go to the NVIDIA control panel right here. And I click on that. And once you do that, the window is going to show up, NVIDIA control panel at the top. Um, and you're going to want to click on NVIDIA surround and physics. Um, once you once you click on it, you're going to go to configure. Now, just let you know that before this screen pops up, it's gonna, there's going to be another screen that will tell you that you need to kill all the applications that are running in the background. By that, I mean if you have Stream Deck or if you have any startup apps that run once you open up your computer, you're going to want to, you know, uh, do control all panel. I mean, uh, control all delete and then go into your uh, task manager and kill those applications. Once you kill the applications, there'll be a continue button. That button will become clickable. You click on it and in this window will appear in front of you. Now, as we can see here, I have uh, four monitors, but only three of them are selected. The AOC monitors are the ones that I use for the trucking or racing simulator. Now, it's very important that in order for this to work properly, I recommend, and again, you don't have to, but I recommend that you have three of the same monitors, uh, you know, brand, model, uh, 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 refresh rate, and uh, re uh, display resolution. So the monitors that I'm using are 332-inch AOC's 1080p, 165 hertz. Okay, so they're the same brand, same resolution, same refresh rate. The reason being is because if you have, let's say if you have one that's 144 hertz, for example, and the other two are 75 hertz, the NVIDIA surround will set up, they, they will still set up your uh, surround settings. However, it will go with the lower uh, display hertz or the, re the refresh rate. So instead of going 144, you'll have all three monitors at 75 hertz. It will always go with the lower number. Now, for these three monitors, the Refresh rate, as we can see here, is 165 hertz. And I believe this is with the, obviously, with the, uh, um, um, this is the higher refresh rate. I can also go to 144, 120, 100 hertz, whatever I want. So obviously, I'm going for the highest is 165 hertz. And then it will tell you which monitor is which number. And again, as you guys can see here, the center monitor is number two, and this is number four, and this is number one. Okay, so once you get everything all set up, it will tell you the topology. You're gonna have one by three, which is exactly what I'm doing. All right, well, one one big display from three monitors, and this is the resolution: 5760 by 1080. Okay, and you can change it to whatever you want, 
But obviously, the recommended one is the 5760 by 1080 because we have 1080p monitors. Now, if it was 40, uh, 1440p, if it was a 2K monitor, it would and it was 32 inches, it would be 5760. Uh, well, obviously, it would be, a, it would be a much higher number because the resolution would be much higher. It'd be like 72 something by 1440p, which is what I have in my other setup. So once you do that, it, you're going to click on the bottom here. Obviously, it's not selected because I already have it set up. You're going to click on apply. And once you do that, it will refresh your monitors multiple times and it will be all good to go. Now, let me just show you what it looks like. So now we have it all set up. And again, it's been set up already. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. We're going to go ahead and, and load up American Truck Simulator here real quick just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Now, this becomes one big monitor. And I have my other monitor at the top here. This is my uh, LG 32-inch IPS 75 hertz monitor at the top. That's what I use for my streaming or if I want to, you know, download... Uh, anything I want or whatever, that becomes my extra monitor that I have at the top. Now, this is obviously American Truck Simulator. We're going to skip that. Uh, we're going to go ahead here. I'm just holding. There we go. We're going to continue. Now, with that being said, some games don't require you to have NVIDIA Surround activated. I remember with Project Cars, you didn't need to do that. Project Cars, you can already set up in the game um, in the menu settings, you can set up the three monitor setup within the within the game. iRacing is the same way. You don't really need to have, unless I'm mistaken, uh, you, the, the NVIDIA Surround um, set up properly in order for it to work. So we're going to go ahead here, um, go to Drive. Now, I know with American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2, you need to have NVIDIA Surround set up in order for it to work. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And this is how I have the three monitor uh, set up. And then again, at the top one, it's completely empty because I'm not using it for that. I guess you can still use it. Now, if I was to use the top monitor, it will be 75 hertz for all four. Because that one only goes up to 75 hertz, the one at the top. So if I was to make all four of them surround monitors, then they will be up to 75 hertz. That's it. It would not go any higher than that because this one only goes up to 75 hertz. So that'd be the maximum refresh rate that I can go with. So we're going to go ahead and change the view real quick just to show you. And there you go. You have all three monitors acting as one. Now, it's very important that I, I tell you that I don't really mess with the bezels on the side. So, for example, let's... We're going to pause this real quick here. Let me see if I can get out of this. All right. Let, oh, well, of course, it's not going to work right now. But we're going to go ahead here real quick. I, I need to get out of the game. So we're going to go back here at the top and open up the control panel. All right. Now. See now, if I, if I was to go back to the con to the configure surround settings, right? It's not gonna work because it's telling me that I need to close this program first, and then click on continue. That's what I was telling you. So make sure that if if it's not working, you need to close these programs first, click continue, and then you'll be brought up to what I had before. So we're actually gonna exit out of the game. Okay. So we're gonna exit out of the game, just to show you here. And of course, the thing freezes, but you guys get the point. Um, but yeah, so it's very, very easy to do, very simple, shouldn't take you that long. Don't mess with the bezels, leave it the way it is unless you know what you're doing. I don't really touch it because it's fine for me, but uh, NVIDIA Surround gets the job done, no problems at all. Some games don't re require you to do it, but once you have it done, you're good to go. So I hope you guys find this video, um, you know, helpful. And uh, feel free to smash the like button or share with someone that, you know, uh, wanted to know how to do the NVIDIA Surround. Hope this answers your question. If any more questions, please let me know in the comments or send me a message on Facebook at The Simpson Show or on YouTube at Simpson GT. Really appreciate the love, guys. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you find it interesting and, and helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.